All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another section of ADEX Pixel 360 Virtual Expo, happening every month as we convene over United Cause. That is our love for diving and the ocean. For today's session, I'm really happy to introduce two wonderful gentlemen here with us today, Shaf and Ben. We're gathered here today to raise awareness for a record-breaking dive taking place this Friday. So Shaf will drop six meters and continue so for 50 hours. Our second guest, Ben, is listed as one of the world's best technical divers and trainers. So Ben will be on hand at the event, guiding and monitoring the safety of the main diver and support divers. So now I will pass it over to Shaf to learn more about his passion and this incredible record that he's about to break. So Shaf, the floor is yours. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Yeah, this, uh, this is going to be an awesome dive, I think. So it's Ocean 650. That's why it's ocean and six is for six meters and 50 for 50 hours. And yeah, I couldn't have done, I mean, I've been planning this for a long time, almost two years. And I couldn't have done this without the support of my support team and especially Ben, who is getting in all the technical aspects of it for me. Yeah. So, and it's happening next Friday, so. I'll be jumping in at 3.30 Maldives time and coming on 25th and then coming back on surface 5.30 p.m. on 27th. That's going to be a long dive for me. Ben? <laughs> yes, thanks for having us, uh, Kushi. Um, so, yes, I'll try and keep this gentleman uh, alive. Um, <laughs> then together with a few other uh, medical support members, um, we'll be supplying chef with um, food and entertainment and um, basically draw awareness. Uh, it's not just about the 50 hour dive. It's also, of course, an incentive of the Maldivian government to celebrate the 50 uh, years of tourism, diving tourism, and also draw a big attention to the plastic pollution and other topics that chef will explain later. Yeah, we, we, all, we have a pledge that everybody can sign underwater. It's again, single-use plastic pollution. Uh, you, you can sign it online even if you're not jo uh, joining me physically and you can be part of it virtually as well. So that's one of the reasons that I'm doing this dive to create awareness against single-use plastic in the ocean. But if you are in the Maldives and you do have a free day, Chef, where should they meet us if they want to come and support and sponsor you <laughs> yeah you you anybody can join the dive even virtually so if you're in the Maldives then you can contact us on the website and be part of the event physically you can we will arrange everything for the dive yeah it's just a speed boat ride out from the main island so it's quite easy to reach um, for everyone and because it's quite shallow, it's accessible to everybody. And it's a beautiful site. So do you guys want to talk about how you prepared for this, um, this amazing record? Like what's the training? Uh, uh. The, training <laughs> uh, the training for me hasn't been that long actually, but I've been, I've been doing a lot of physical training since August last year. And then in October, I did my full cave dive with Ben in Finland, which was one of the hardest trainings I've ever done yet so far. <laughs> that, that coming from, an, from a Navy diver, it shows how hard it was for me. <laughs> yeah, and Just other than that... <laughs> Other than that, it was, it's always been uh, physical trainings. And since I came to Maldives on uh, 23rd of January, I've been doing long dives of three to four hours and just getting used to being in the dry suit in this weather, which is actually a bit of a challenge being in the dry suit in, a, in warm weather. Yes, yeah. Chef wanted to have a, have a challenging uh, training, so I told him to come to Finland and do his, his cave diver training in, in four degrees in the beginning of winter uh, to feel all the discomfort and exposure with a dry suit. And, um, and so he did. Um, <laughs> I don't think a Maldivian had ever <laughs> done a cave course in, <laughs> in Finland. 
but um, yes, he, uh, he did well. He, he complained a little bit, but in the end, uh, all the equipment and all the things proved to be perfect. So, um, and uh, instead of freezing, it's sweating. But yeah. It, it, it's yeah. looking quite good. Yeah. yeah. So I understand so, this live is being featured, right? Online, it's being streamed. Uh, where yeah. can people watch them? Yeah, we are, uh, my, I've got a good technical team here and also the telecom provider, Diragu, who is one of our sponsors for technical uh, telecommunications side of things. And my IT technical team, they are doing custom GoPro housings with a Wi-Fi connection that can be at five to six meters down so they can put a live feed through Okay. Uh, I think I think she wants to know where exactly people yeah, can log in to yeah. follow the event. Yeah. Oh, that is that will be at the Asian Diver this right. page. Yeah. Cool. Yes, the one and only. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One and only. And I just I just received. Oh yeah. A toy. Yes. Ooh, so this is a nice. a custom a custom tablet, which has a very long cable, uh, because unfortunately. Uh, technology is not there to transmit Wi-Fi, Bluetooth through, not deep to, through the water. So this thing has a long antenna. It goes to the surface, has there a repeater. And so Chef can be literally online taking selfies on his Instagram profile. <laughs> and we're going to try and connect the GoPro to this so you can get underwater live uh, footage. And of course, you can send him feedback and support and wishes and also selfies yes netflix. keep it decent <laughs> and there is yes there is netflix actually on the on the thing there we go so we need to preload it you know Whoa. I, 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 I put an age limit of 12 years and that is that okay <laughs> oh thank <Okay>. you <laughs> yeah it's so cool okay and um you guys are doing this to raise awareness for plastic pollution yeah can you guys talk a little bit, share a little bit? Yeah, the, the thing is, it's a big uh, problem in the Maldives, like right. everywhere else in the world. There's so much plastic in the oceans. I came here last month and I was just amazed to see how much plastic is in the lagoon and in the ocean. Every day near the jetties, it's just full of plastic. So we are trying to get this problem, hopefully, create awareness about this problem and get people to not use single-use plastic. And at the event, we are not going to allow any single-use plastic for anybody. We're going to have water bottles and aluminium we'll be giving out as well. Okay. So that we might even do a security check if there's any single-use plastic anybody carries. All right. Okay. And um, who are like supporting you on this cause? Uh, we got Pale on board, who is doing all the advising and stuff about the plastic pollution, and they'll be giving lectures about it as well during the event. Then we got we got all the government bodies, Maldives Tourism, Environment Ministry, uh, Tourism Promotion Board, Boating Association. Everybody is part of this because it is for such a good cause because of the plastic right. pollution. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Okay. And don't forget your the guys that giving you all the goodies, Chef. Uh, we yeah. really have to thank uh, Fort Element. Yeah, uh, Fort Element for a big sponsor for uh, yeah uh, against plastics. Uh, X Deep has been great yeah. with providing equipment. Of course, yeah. these guys, Valtemet, uh, 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 Ocean Reef from... Mass, who is giving me the yeah. communication systems, and I can sleep underwater because of their full face mask. Literally, yeah. <laughs> And Shear Water, who's providing us with the computers. And Shear Water, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, all, only there's the best. A, there's a lot of, we've, yeah. we've got almost, we've got almost 80 supporters, 80 big companies supporting us. Yeah. With doing and, the main watch, and the main watch supporter, don't forget. Yeah. Which one? I, I, I didn't hear that. Luminox. Ah, yeah, Luminox is, they are the official timekeeper as well for us. Okay. So. That's great. You've got so many supporting you on this cause. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. We're going to bring it back to your event name, 650. Why 6 and why 50? 6 for 6 meters, 50 for 50 hours. 6 
we came up because we, I had to be in a safe limit. Okay. Yeah. And then the 50 yeah. is for the 50 hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the six meters is really, uh, it's sort of the magic line between um, getting decompression or getting problems with the oxygen exposure and being too shallow to be too much exposed to wave action and sun. And so right. it's sort of the, 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 the perfect golden depth to, to be at. Yeah. Okay. And um, so you just be uh, lying there for 50 hours. <laughs> <laughs> make it make it sound a bit more elegant. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm sure I'm I'm lying lying <laughs> no, I'll be I'll, I'll I'll be playing chess. I'll be chess? sitting there. Yeah. But even guys, uh, Unique Sporting has made an underwater chess board, a very unique, one of a kind chess board. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you'll yeah. have someone with you or is this a virtual chess Oh, we are, actually, we are opening it up for any divers, non-divers to come and join the dive, be part of it, be with me during these 50 hours and they can play chess with me and enjoy, no? You say you're a pro uh, at, at chess? chess or... no, I'll get beaten <laughs> by the novice guys. I'm not a good chess player. <laughs> but nah, I'm good at Scrabble, so I, we, are, we are trying to get a Scrabble board can we play it underwater? In the day, that's going to go well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anything else? No else? Um, I mean, we're really excited about this event and seeing how you've got such huge support and 8X Pixel is supporting you as well. And we really hope something, you know, good comes out of it because all this effort will be to waste and... But you've got government agencies supporting you as well. I even yeah. heard you know, said um, Fourth Element, which I think is a great, great initiative as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, it should be good. Yeah. yeah. And I, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. It's, it's, it took us a long time, and this is not going to be the end of it. This is just the start of our big projects that we are going to do in the Maldives, me and Ben, I, I've, already start, I've already started planning for the next one next year. So <laughs> that's gonna be big. What's, what's the plans for the future are like? Uh, we are actually, we are, we are gonna be an organization or a foundation, Ocean 650. So okay. we're gonna, one of the main goals for me is to give back to the community. I wanna give back, I've been diving almost 22 years now and I wanna give back to the, community, I want to give back to the young guys who are trying to become dive professional. So Ocean 650 Foundation, we are going to raise funds to give uh, for the underprivileged youth, for them to become dive masters, instructors, or marine biologists. So we are going to raise funds and get them this opportunity to join and be become these professionals they want to be their, their dream of where they don't have the financial capability of doing it so we are gonna yeah. be backing them up and i mean opening up a whole you know venture during covid times can be pretty tough right because there's no tourism so how how has that been a challenge oh uh, now now the whole of maldives is open all the resorts are almost overbooked all the liverboards are in operation and there's a lot of diving going on right now so i hope it doesn't go down again with another wave or something but yeah let's hope, in let's Sweden, hope. right where ben is there's a whole wave <laughs> going on <laughs> so it's pretty yeah. it's very scary even in singapore we're having it so yeah not so much but it, it's 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 um... It's not as bad as the, the first waves. I mean, at least now most people have been vaccinated and if you've been vaccinated or recovered, you can travel. So it, it's getting, um, I wouldn't say getting better, but uh, it, it, it's less uh, fatal than it would be would have been in the beginning. Yeah. Um, okay, true. So, okay, well. So, but, um, well, and then, then there's the other project as well. It's Chef and I have been working on for more than 10 years, I think, was trying to get technical diving to the, to the Maldives. So yeah, that's the other part of the, 
project with some government support that seems to be now slowly falling in place, I think. Yeah, the, the regulations has been uh, written. Um, yeah. Because once you dive deeper in the Maldives below 30, 40 meters, that's when you really get to see the, the, the treasure of, that, of the deep. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully this will be the start of technical diving even. Maybe they are going to allow. I'm, I mean, I'm inviting all the ministers who are, who are divers, so they will see how this is. They're the ones okay. who are going to decide. Okay, well, gentlemen, is there anything you guys would like to share about your dive? About your... Yeah, um, I, I hope a lot of uh, viewers will watch this, the live yeah. event. And also get online and we sign the pledge online, and that will be good. Also, you can dive virtually. We're gonna, uh, you can use the hashtags we have: a dive for hope and shop dives you crazy, and oh, ocean six fifty, and just upload a photo on Instagram, and we're gonna share it on our Instagram pages as well, just to be part of it wherever in the world you are in. Okay. Okay, Ben, would you like to say anything? No, that's all covered. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. All right, um, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time today. Yep. And super Thank excited you for having us. Yeah, to watch your live on Friday, am I right? Yes, Friday. Uh, is there a time or? Uh, it's 3.30 p.m. Maldives time, so that is 6.30 Singapore time. Okay, okay, cool. Well, yeah. Yeah, for all our viewers, uh, we will be streaming this event live on our 8X Pixel Facebook page. So don't forget to tune in and watch this happen. So I really hope, you know, the borders are opening up, right? So we hope to meet um, soon in uh, July for our 8X show that's happening. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Really? Okay. Excellent. July, yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah, that's going to be good. <laughs> <I'm right. laughs> all right. For our viewers, if they have any questions, questions you can always drop them on our facebook page and um congratulations both of you thank you thank you thank you guys see you soon see you thank you bye bye, bye. bye.